This is the kits of 64 gigabyte and another 64 gigabyte kit to make 128 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. This computer is a small form factor, a Lenovo M90S. It's a business computer. First, uh, remove the power cord and then remove the screws in the back of the computer, the two silver large round screws. More like knobs, screwable knobs. And then slide off the cover with the handle. Just pull it back and up. Remove the front cover with these clips, pull them up, and then you can slide or pull the top cover down and out. The cassette area of metal cassette covers the part of the motherboard you need to access to replace the RAM module, so you gotta press on that button to lift up push pressure on it, pinch it, and slide the cassette out. You slide it up from the front and pull it out like I did. Just let it hang there. Now there's this wire that's in the way, so I'm going to try and mess with it so I can keep it out of the way. It keeps wanting to come back over the ram. Press the clips down on either side of the memory. And then just pull the ram straight up and out. This is the RAM that was in the computer. Go ahead and open up your new RAM and make sure that the RAM doesn't fall out of the package, which can easily happen. Now when you insert the RAM, there is a little slot, a notch inside the RAM, and you can see the little notch place on the slot. If you put it in the wrong way, like this, it simply will not go in. Don't press too hard though, you might break, break it or damage the dim slot. So put it in like this, and press down uh, snugly or securely on both ends at the same time and the clip should pop up and then you can secure them by pressing them, pressing them in. Make sure that they're snug. But just don't use too much force because it can break. You want to install the RAM um, in the slots that are color coordinated. So you do the blue, the two blue slots that are alternating, or um, and then you can also do the two black slots. Um, but since all this RAM is the same, you just put them in all the slots. If you were just doing two sticks of RAM, you would want to install it in just the blue slots. I like to use four. Uh, RAM modules to fill up all the slots. I would rather have my memory spaced out in all the slots than just have a whole bunch of memory in just two slots. Now we want to insert the uh, this part of the computer case back into the slots. So slide this pin and then that one in into the slots at an angle, and it drops right in there, nice and snug. Now we're going to put the bottom clips in first of the front cover into these holes. There are three holes for it. Just angle it in. If you do it right, the top will snap in and be flush. And the clips, all the clips will hold. So, so I press on it a little bit to make sure it's in good. Now we're going to put the cover back on the computer. 
it's uh, sometimes difficult to find the right spot for it to slide in at. So you put it in at an angle like this, set it down, and then you can slide it forward. Last thing we need to do for the hardware portion is to install the screws back in the rear of the computer. Now we hook up the computer and turn it on. Don't be alarmed if the computer doesn't come on or post or display anything on the screen for a while. It takes quite a while for it to boot up after the RAM change. Wait for it. I know this is taking a while, but still continue to wait. Yes, this is a ridiculous amount of time you have to wait, but there it is. Now if you press enter, on the keyboard, press it a few times so that you don't miss it, you get to the menu where you can go into the BIOS settings or UFI and uh, <clears throat> see the amount of memory and the other system specifications. Here's a screenshot of the Windows 11 system with a dual monitor setup. You can see the system information which shows 128 gigabytes of RAM.